Good morning. Welcome all of you. On this great day, we are going to have a um, very interesting topic. God guides best when he tempts worst. So you just imagine how this contradictory the uh, contrary is possible at all. You can't imagine, but it is true. Not from my voice, it is from Sri Aurobindo. Our master has uh, written in, in clear terms, not only this one, another couple of terms also used, very interesting man, in, in very interesting manner we can have a glance at it, Sri Aurobindo course, God guides best when he tempts a host. God guides best when he tempts a host, superlative degree, and uh, loves entirely when he punishes uh, cruelly. Just imagine, Sri Aurobindo quotes, loves entirely when punishes cruelly and helps perfectly when violently he opposes. So just imagine it is a great thing has been written here. This is a great aphorism. It is aphorism number 242. It is coming under karma. It is from third sound aphorisms on karma um, uh, person 242. I'll try to quote it again. Very interesting um, aphorism from Sri Aurobindo. God guides best when he tempts worst, loves entirely when he punishes cruelly, helps perfectly when violently he opposes. So again, we are um, uh, going uh, for the another um, diction, another uh, top line to, from uh, this aphorism. Next one. If God did not take upon himself the burden of tempting men, because already we have seen uh, tempts worst, uh, guides best when tempts worst. Um, if God did not take on, upon himself the burden of tempting men, the world would very soon go to perdition. Just imagine, because for this uh, tempting, I mean, uh, on other terms I can use from us, um, used, it is by Sri Aurobindo, worst, tempts worst. So, if God did not take upon himself the burden of tempting men, the world would very soon go to the perdition. That is what Sri Aurobindo tries to quote. That's what, that is the personal uh, secret behind tempting the man. Again, Sri Aurobindo quotes beautifully, suffer yourself to be tempted within so that you may exhaust in the struggle of uh, struggle your downward propensities. Just imagine how the great um, aphorism it is coming from quotations from Sri Aurobindo. Suffer yourself to be tempted within. Suffer yourself as long as the condition is that to be tempted within so that you may exhaust in the struggle your downward propensities. Exhaust your struggle in the struggle your downward propensities. Again, we can find um, uh, those uh, good terms. We can find if you leave it to the God to purify, because you know purification messages and all purification is necessary. In the supra, for the supramentalization, the purification, cleanliness is next to perfection, uh, next to supramentalization. We have seen. Mm, so, um, if you leave it to the God to purify, He will exhaust the evil in you subjectively. So, I don't know how can I clean myself. I can suppose outwardly, uh, to some extent, I am unclean. So some um, um, uh, natural by the, some natural processes or use of something like your cream, soap or something shampoo. So body shampoo and all so many cosmetics are coming maybe through uh, herbal or maybe through uh, chemical anyway. So uh, thing is that it can be to some extent you can clean it outwardly even though it have it may have a bad effect on the screen. But thing is that you must uh, think. How can you be able to clean your soul that is inside? Nobody has seen. How? What is the possibility? So, to purify the soul, leave everything to the divine. That is his duty. And once he, because otherwise, to some extent we can try, but it is, may not be sufficient to clean or to purify the soul. So, live entirely, have a um, deep faith upon the God so that this purification uh, work job will be done by the divine. If you leave it to God to purify, he will exhaust the evil in you subjectively. Exhaust the evil in you subjectively. 
but if you insist on uh, guiding yourself through your method your own capacity you will fall into much outward sin and the suffering <laughs> not only the imperfect ability is not a crime or criteria here but you will fall into much outward sin and the suffering so again we can go for the another term call you call not everything evil 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 uh, which men call evil normally people feel something evil that is to their outward eyes they feel it is evil call not everything evil which men call evil but only that reject which god has rejected only that you reject that god has rejected call not again call not everything good which men call good that is a very beautiful aphorism you can think we take in two terms maybe both with a contrariety something somehow we file we find evil or so something or we find good so here in the quoted call not again second um, um, in contrary sense here in the quote call not everything good which men call good but accept only what god has accepted what god has rejected only those with you reject it and call it evil call it evil what god has accepted that's what you accept and call it good that is what the skill that was what your window uh, tries to speak and try to teach us again men in the world have two lights uh, duty and the principle very interesting uh, men have normally men in this world not only one or two men in the world man at all at large in the world have two lights one is duty second is principle but uh, he who has passed over to god has done the both and replaced them by god's will they have done it and uh, replaced it by them by the god's will if men abuse thee from for this if men abuse thee for this um, care not o divine instrument sri has quoted the man o divine instrument uh, but go on thy way like the wind or the sun um, uh, fostering or destroying so um, um, try to be abided with the principle the truth and the god's will that is what the very minimum principle anyway i will try to quote it again men in the world have two lights one is duty and second one is principle but uh, he who has passed over to god not all he who has passed over to god has done with both both means a duty and a principle and replace them by god's will uh, only they have replaced them by the god's will it is god's will if men abuse thee for this because you have replaced by the maybe with um, definitely with god's will but uh, you have replaced it and uh, men abuse thee for that care not don't care O divine instruments here in the course it is uh, us as divine instrument because we are here the instrument uh, we are the divine instrument we are here to carry out uh, his deal uh, his will we are have been specifically uh, missioned for that um, uh, mission so um, sent for the mission but go on thy own go with the way like the wind or sun fostering and destroying fostering and destroying that is the duty of uh, wind and uh, sun so like this you go on uh, again here in the course beautifully um, uh, that uh, not to call up the pages of man has god made the his own but uh, to do fearlessly his bidding what you are here for whom actually god has uh, is bidding on you that's what you do not to call the pages of man has um, pages of man has god made the for his own but thing is that everything do fearlessly his his bidding that's what is expected from you and that is what the initial requirement against your in the course accept the world as god's theater naturally he is the it is the, it is god's theater he is the director he is the actor he is the player he is the author everything is he Actor, author and actor is he for us for roles that's what is written by sri aurobindo in savitri we have seen accepted by the world as god's theater but uh, thou the mask of actor and let him act through thee just stand he will take you as, as an actor and he will play to act through you you if men praise or blame he's thee in that role 
for which you are mission, who is actually you are carrying out the, the divine will, know that they who are marks and take God within for the only critic and audience. Know that they who are masks means who are criticizing also. You are performing and who are criticizing those critics and it takes God within for the only critic and audience. So everything what is happening, maybe you are doing everything with the divine will, people who are criticizing that is also God is there and through them it is acting. Uh, he acts, don't um, uh, God take God within for the only critic and audience. Against you in the course, if Krishna to be alone on the side and armed and organized world with its horse and the and its serpanel and its um, maxims of the other um, yet prefer the divine solitude. Beautiful. If Krishna is alone, be alone on one side, the armed and organized world with its horse and serpanel and its maxims on the other. Krishna with in one side, then others will be on another side, you know. Um, so what will be happen, you know, Mahabharata Yuddha you have seen. So what will happen, um, you can see. Care not if the world passes over thy body and, and its serpanel, tear thee to pieces, and the Calvary trample thy limbs into the shapeless mire by the wayside. For the mind was always um, simulacrum and the body um, karsa, karkas. So the spirit liberated from its casings, uh, ranges and triumphs. So in, on one side Krishna will be there and on another side everything will, all the rest of the world everything will be there. Still then don't worry about your loss and gain because you know the spirit liberated becomes its uh, castings and ranges and uh, triumphs. So again, we will go a little bit into a couple of uh, good things to know. Men are false to their country for their own profits. Most of the time we betray. Men are false into their country for their own profit, yet they go on thinking they have a right to turn in horror from the matricide. Thing is that very interesting. Uh, if men are false to their country for their own profit. They can sell even the country. They can be betrayed like anything. But uh, yet, they go on thinking they are a right to turn the horror from the matricide. Still then their feeling is like this. Thinking that they are, they have a right to turn in horror from matricide. Again, break the moods of the past. Past still survives, still wants to stay on. Make of us your hero warriors we aspire to become. So you are in the course here. Uh, break the moods of the past and keep safe its um, against and its spirit. Else thou hast no future. So you are um, very be two um, beautiful messages we have heard on the past. Um, use past as a springboard to lean towards the future. Use past as a springboard which will um, uh, uh, take you to up, uh, means I mean to um, forward. Use past as a springboard to lean towards the future. Here also uh, another message is there. Past is our foundation, present is our material and the future would be our summit. On this range and in this region and with these thoughts we are actually progressing forward. Break through the moods of the past but keep safe its gains and its spirit of the gains and the spirits of the past, past else you uh, thou hast no future. Again, revolutions hew the past to pieces. We have seen revolution has hew the past to, to pieces and cast it into a um, uh, cauldron. But uh, what has emerged um, is the old ocean with a new visage. Old ocean with a new visage. That's what we see. We see, we remember again because it has been torn to pieces through evolution and cast into the uh, coral drawn. But what has emerged is really from the revolution, what has emerged is has really, a, really an old ocean with a new visage. Again, the world has, its, uh, has had only one dozen of successful revolutions. Already we see number of revolutions in the past we have seen. The world has had only a half, half a dozen of successful revolutions and most even of these we are very like failures. Mostly they have failed only a couple of half a dozen of successful revolutions. Eight, 
it is by great and noble failure that humanity advances beautiful it is by great and noble failures that humanity progresses already we have known this is a great aphorism we have seen um, that is number 239 so initially so many revolutions have come forward we have seen but few are success and mostly it is failure so sri aurobindo quotes uh, it is by great and noble failures that the humanity advances Again, see in the course, an asceticism is a necessary protest against the wickedness of the churches. What is what really was happening? That's what Sri Aurobindo tried to quote it. Asceticism is a necessary protest against the wickedness of the churches and the narrowness of creeds. God uses it as a stone to smash these soiled, card houses. It is used by um, uh, the by the God. Sri Aurobindo quotes again. I will try to quote it. Very interesting, very successful um, um, in our life. Or if we can able be talk, able to quote it, asceticism, asceticism is a necessary protest against the wickedness of the churches. That time actually, so many wickednesses we have felt, so many barbarism we have, uh, um, uh, of, of course, behold in the past. So um, against the wickedness of churches and the narrowness of creeds, God uses. Um, as a stone, these things, God uses as a stone to smash these soiled card houses. Again, we can find very interesting religion on religion. Sri Aurobindo has having a um, very um, crucial um, observation here. Um, how much hatred and stupidity men succeed in picking up decorously and labeling the religion? religion so many ways you know religion so many religions are found throughout the world and we know the pros and cons of course uh, krishna has told sambhavami juge juge dharma sanstha panarthaya sambhavami juge juge possible it is done it has been done in the near future we have seen but thing is that still in the course on, uh, in another formats in another way still in has quoted um, uh, that uh, the, if a religion is not uh, it, un, un, universal, that can't be eternal. So just imagine here, still in the course, we normally do two things: um, um, succeed in picking up uh, decorously and labeling uh, religion. That's what we do. How much hatred and stupidity men succeed in picking up decorously and labeling the religion? So um, then we can put forward a uh, little bit to have a very nice look into the uh, um, end format of our discussion, concluding the portion we are going proceeding to. If you, if thou think defeat is the end of the, very interesting. If you think that defeat is the end of the, then go not to for fight. Even though thou art, uh, thou be stronger. Once again, before going to the war, that confidence is not there. There that I am going to have a victory. I am defeated. Defeat is inevitable. Don't go because uh, how much stronger you may be. Because initially, before the war, the war is over. That's what's here in the course. If you think defeat is the end of the, I can't win. Defeat is the end of the. Then go not to for the fight. Even though um, thou art stronger. For fate is not purchased by any man, or nor is power bound over to your possessors. Very interesting. Sri Aurobindo quoted, fate is not purchased by man, nor power bound over to her possessors. But defeat is not the end, it is only a gate and a beginning. Of course, I will try to quote it. You can find so much encouraging aphorism from Sri Aurobindo like this. Very interesting. You must go. Very in a very um, 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 minute observation, you must have the detailed, uh, clear meaning on it. If you think defeat is the end of the, but better then go not to the fight, even though thou to be stronger. Again, Sivananda tries to clarify it, tries to explain in his own term try, what what really the reason behind his this message. For fate is not purchased by any man, number one. Fate is not purchased by anyone. It is not sold in the market, or nor is the power bound over to her possessors. Power not bound over to her possessors. Then what I have to do, do really? That's what Sri Aurobindo tries to explain. But uh, defeat is not end. It is only a gate or a beginning. Defeat is not the end. It is a gate or a beginning. Again, very nice things here, window, and the end point we try to quote. 
I have failed this test. I have failed. It is initially it was before going the war. Here, during the course, most of the time we quote, I have failed. They say, say rather, God is circling me towards His own high, His own object. If that uh, assumption is there, that confidence is there, definitely this failure is not failure whom God leads. And most of the times we take that way also, um, all splendid failures sum to victory. All splendid failures sum to victory. So, uh, this uh, when God is guiding, God is actually taking, carrying you forward, your defeat is not defeat, nor uh, rather your failure is not failure. Anyway, uh, with this great description and a great discussion and a great explanation from Sri um, Aurobindo uh, in his um, golden um, um, outlook, in his golden describings, we can find definitely it is encouraging. Naturally, we will find tremendous amount of uh, creative energy if you really you know, um, be actually understand what really is here. So, in this discussion, we have already seen we have seen found something like uh, you know uh, that uh, religion god and of course revolution and atheism so many things we are actually blessed it is our opportunity we have been blessed by sri aurobindo to hear it anyway it is a great one we will wait here we will stop here for the next discussion bande matram